guys blessing 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 so guys today i decided to cook some brown stew chicken and this is how i prepare my brown stew chicken first i put it in some water i squeeze some lemon i also put the skin in it because i'm trying to cut down the rawness and to clean it up properly then i pour some vinegar and i'm gonna leave it there to soak onto the frost so that way you gotta just clean everything is just you know you gotta soak away whatever chemical whatever they use on it this is um some chicken parts some said lake water um whatever you call it overall is chicken so i'm gonna clean it up skin it off chop it up and i'm gonna season it up let i show you what i'm gonna to use to prepare to season my chicken now guys don't be fooled by what you see here if you do not have these ingredients that doesn't mean say you can't have brown stew chicken back in the days back gone when our parents just had a brown stew chicken we never have nothing like them yeah. back in the days we never have nothing like them yeah. and guess what it used to taste good and your hand you know so some of us hands are flavored i guess mine is because plenty of them i never have but we didn't know about parsley flakes back in the days. We never know nothing about it. What the hell me they know about crushed pepper flakes? Uh uh, not a clue. Yeah, me didn't know about ginger. But we never know about no squeeze ginger neither. Today, we use that type of ginger. Allspice, which is pimento seed. Me know it has pimento seed. We never know about no powder allspice. We used to just throw a cup of pimento seed in there. And when they come from country, we have all the pimento seed. But guess what? Many of the times we never use none either. We they have a browning. Sometimes, sometimes we used to use sugar and burn the sugar. We used to, when you use a train and a hell, sometimes we used to burn in a can, then scan, put it on the fire. And put the sugar in it and make it burn in the can and skin and burn burn and then we tip like a water in it and then we also boil it down and then we throw off it and just season up with meat ha, and it used to be off the chain garlic powder when we all boil garlic powder all along but to be honest i never really like garlic powder i used to belt it so i used to use the real garlic that's what i used to use now they have mojo marinade guys tell that they got you whenever used to use them i used to use both lime juice and squeeze it and i sit now and wash it down i never did have a scar of a chicken like when i cut up a chicken and scar it off not even that i never used to have to do a jamaica because our chicken tastes totally different so whenever they have to do all of them the same thing like, no sir we have i used to have with time so i'm gonna use my time we know about with onions i mean know about me sweet pepper truth is I never used to use sweet potato. I used to use Irish potato. No wonder the weight used to depend on me. I never used to melt none at all because a lot of carbs. Now I use a piece of sweet potato instead of the Irish potato. That doesn't mean enough to use the Irish potato if you have it. Whatever you have, use it. That is how I used to do it and I still used to enjoy my meal. Now, guys, sometimes you're even steaming a carrot. You never use no salt, you know. If you have high blood pressure, just tip like a cinnamon powder and steam a vegetable and you're good to go now i'm going to use my sweet pepper my onion i got to use my carrot a piece of sweet potato that is what is going to replace the irish potato i'm going to use me some browning and i'm going to use some crushed um red pepper you can use whatever pepper. You don't have to use this. Use a scotch bonnet pepper or your bird pepper. Guys, I know a bird pepper back in the days. Cayenne pepper is good also. Here you have my complete season. This is a must. I love it. I didn't know it before. I didn't know chicken season. Season. I didn't know paprika. I didn't know all purpose. I didn't know all of them there. I'm a fancy something there. I never didn't know them. I'm not going to pretend I'm going. Parsley. Oh, I love this. But the hell me didn't know about parsley. Tell you the truth, I didn't know nothing about it. But I love parsley now. It is a go, guys. Black pepper. Oh Jesus, I didn't know about that all the time. I use black pepper in my aki. I use of black. Oh Jesus. They say it's not good, but I love black pepper. They say it is not good for men, especially because it can give them stoppage of water. So men must not eat a lot of black pepper. When I was cooking life for my husband, I normally used to use scotch bonnet instead of black pepper. And this is allspice, which is the pimento seed. And this is the ginger. This is the squeezed ginger. I know my natural ginger. Whenever I used to use 
piece my natural ginger yeah. and this may always use to put piece in my meat and most of the time you know you to put it in a curry or in a pork I mean, not cook pork or curry without my ginger but whatever type of meat over them a place I mean, I'm not lie. you have to use as much as you can because sometimes it is totally different it has to incorporate a lot of stuff in order to get that flavor the garlic I use a garlic powder sometimes sometimes I use my real garlic it basically use a real garlic sometimes it's good like if you're doing like stir fry certain type of something you use a powder one it's not really necessary for everything and this is my top of the line to finish off my pot guys I love my chicken bully and me don't tell a lie in Africa they didn't know that the ladies in Africa they use chicken bully to mix it out into the water and they inject it in their bottom to have big bumps in some part in Africa, yeah, to get because the men them crave big bottom over there, so they would put the the bullion inside of the injection needle. They mix it up and it is suck it up with the injection needle and they inject their bottom, and it will enlarge their bottom. So you know, so they must sitting a really hundred percent good for you. Father God help us. Yeah, guys. So guys, these are what we're going to use to season up my chicken. To cook my brown stew chicken guys so stay tuned i'm going to show you this as i finish to cut it up and scarlet it half and season it up you know saying that jamaica may not scarlet half meat but in other places i want me to tell us you better scarlet half meat them because of substance depend them oh god you wonder what sometimes some white white is sitting certain type of meat me long feet like my cow and my tripe and my cow skin but me not them certain things over here so because everything imported give me real thing them back home in jamaica so guys Stay tuned. I got fried two dough now for lunch as I season the meat on the other side, guys. See all these things that clean off the chicken? You don't need that. Well, I know a lot of people love the Isle bag. This part? See? But I don't really. I have a family member who will love the Isle bag here. You can put all the Isle bag in their plate. Not for me. Uh -uh. So, I'm going to show this now, guys. I'm going to scald off this now. So guys, I'm scalding off the chicken now. And then I'm going to season it up. You see when you scald off the meat, it just have a different taste to it guys. Because all of this substance, everything gone off. I, so as I said in Jamaica, I never used to have the scald meat. It's totally different. But here with this over imported meat and stuff, you have to scald it off and clean it on good. So guys, this is what it look like. I'm going to put on the browning and then I'm just going to stir it in. Guys, if you smell the ginger sauce right through it. So I scald it out first and then I season it up with all those seasoning and herbs that you see I show you. So guys, I put my pot on, put the oil in. Now the oil is hot, fully heated. I'm going to pour in my chicken with all of the herbs and the season and just cover it. Continue to saute, turn it up, turn it up and then turn it around let it saute. So as I stir it and I catch it color and the season marinade into it and soak in then i'm just going to turn on the heat a little and let it just take it time without pouring any water i go through a little tip of water after a while i put half of tomato i have and i want it to spoil so i put it in there i you know you gotta have to spring a little water a lot of people say they don't use tomato but i love it in my meat it gives natural it gives flavor and this is what i'm doing guys so stay tuned Melina, you want to smell it in here, guys. The smell, mm. you want to smell the herbs and the spices. You know, your typical water, and I just to rinse it out, and then you're gonna pour it in it. You don't want it to burn, so make sure you use a little stir around. Make it all mixed up and incorporated. It's not going in now.
so guys I put in my sweet potato and I put in my carrot and I put in the finishing touch which is my bullion and they start to farm gravy guys see it they start to farm gravy so I just gotta cover it turn it down and let it take it time to simmer down in the next 10 minutes I will have brown stew chicken ready guys here you have it my brown stew chicken is finished here you have it guys nice gravy no oil gravy and this is my brown stew chicken with my carrot and my sweet potato and over here i have a white rice and i have some string bean and dinner is ready to serve thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell that whenever time i post a video you will always be notified love you my beautiful people remember at all time put god first and everything will be added up to you after whatever you think it all start in the mind so whatever you believe in you can achieve it love you my beautiful people until next time this is your girl leah saying peace out love you